Crow Cop's motto of Right Kick Hospital, Left Kick Cemetery made him an instant star in pride as he delivered highlight reel knockouts nearly every time he stepped into the ring. With a title shot within grasp, Crow Cop battled former Pride heavyweight champion Antonio Minotaro Noguera in what would be one of the greatest come from behind wins in Pride history. This is Pride Final Conflict 2003. Here we go. Dutch! 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 Ready, go! Woo! Here we go. Just wait. He's obviously always, always looking He's going for an kick opportunity. To the body. He's going to kick to the body. Nogueira's okay. right hand is a little bit, a bit high. I think he's going to hit a level kick. He's going to go straight underneath the arms, I think. Nogueira also very confident in his own stand-up game. Actually, he's very confident, period. Yeah. Because he just moved into a bigger house and uh, got rid of the girlfriend. So he said that gave him a tremendous amount of focus, quite frankly. Well, what happened to the dog? There. Well, nice sprawl. You Look see the this. sprawl? Sprawl and unleash. He's going to unleash with the ground attack. And now Mirko's got to watch out. Oh, there is already. Is. There's two left hands, though, by Mirko, and that's what. And that's his strength. That's his strong arm. And that's what he's going to have to do. And there's another, another. Noguera already setting up the triangle. You Absolutely. See, he's grabbing already the right hand of Mirko with all his power. And I heard from Mark Holman that he has an incredible grip. Grip, yeah. Strength. Can't his break hand. out of it. I'll get to what happened to his dogs a little bit later, by the way. You asked. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, dogs. Yeah, yeah. Moved I into a new house, right. But I'm, I'm afraid we'll miss something right here, but Yeah, me too. He's going to try to pass uh, Mirko's left arm. You watch. Or, no, sorry, uh, right arm. Oh, look at that. He was setting him up. He was setting him up. Krokop has said he has got some surprises on the ground. He is, uh, uh, his ground game is as, as good as any. And we're getting to see that early. Yep. I think. Let's go for a figure four reverse. But it's like, it looks like Noguera is setting him up with things and then goes for a different technique. Well, he, he leads him to think he's going one way and then goes towards a different submission. That's it. That's exactly what he's doing. And I'll tell you, I don't care how you slice it. I don't care how you slice it. As long as he is oh, oh, on the ground, the advantage is going to Nogueira. Yes, it is. I mean, there's just no other. You can talk about the improved ground game or the hidden ground game or the secret ground game. Kokop wants to be on his feet throwing those kicks. That's it. And not in the guard. <laughs> Especially with it closed. Yes. And if he tries to get up in this position, that triangle. Hello. Yeah, and he will slap that on fast. Hello. There's a nice right shot here. Those ones are missing, but one, the first one connects pretty okay. Look, he's passing. It's going to pass now. The key is to get out of there, get that pass guard, and, you know, yes. his ability to sprawl is so great standing up. Can he use that same power in his legs to get through this guard? I don't know, but what I'm seeing now is that Nogueira, every time when he grabs Mirko's right arm, that means that he wants to pass that arm and go into the triangle. Three minutes in. Yeah. I'll tell you, I just feel that Gara had uh, more confidence than most that have walked in against this guy lately. I mean, you know, the reputation started to, to follow the fighters before they even got in the ring with Prokop. I don't think that Gara was worried about that. Nice sprawl. Mirko's reflexes are phenomenal. Yeah, you're absolutely right. We we're talking about Brazil top team. We're talking about the, you know, former champ himself here. We're talking about a guy that is a submissions expert. He had no confidence in his style. Now Pro Cop is it. up. This is where he wants to be, and he's waving Minotauro up as well. This is what the crowd wants to see, too. The Sakuraba fight, Adam. And Sakuraba apologized for a boring fight, by the way. We should note that. But this is what the, the crowd's waiting for. I think this is what Krokop's waiting for. Yeah, he's going to get a left low kick inside leg. He's going to set something up. Watch. The right hand of Noguera is pretty high sometimes. There's I, a high that's block. It. And then the high okay. sets up right to the gut. Yes, he's playing the game. The combo and the quickness. But now he's going to combine it with the right or the left straight. Watch. 
because Mirko's got a real good left. And you can see Navira trying to get in, get in tight, stay close, doesn't want to stay at any type uh, of hey, range. That's what he should do. He should throw it, kicks to the legs, to the body, to the head, mix it up, and that will be the key to victory. That's the left hand good I told you. That's the left hand I told you. Yeah, it's way too comfortable. It's way too comfortable. Easily got, easily. Now, this is exactly where he wants to be. I told you, he's... Referee bringing him up. The fans right directly behind us, boss. Obviously, big Marco fans are very happy that they're, every time the ref is going to make him stand. Yeah, from here, I can see that the nose of Noguera is bleeding. Actually, you guys at home can see it now, too. Left nostril. Nice sprawl There's here. The Look sprawl. at this. Look, Look at, at this. What a good sprawl. And again, he waves him up. Waves him up. He just walks away. He just Won't walks even away. deal with it. Said I was on the ground long enough with you, my friend. We're playing my game now. Again, Nogueira thinks, hey, I can stand up, but I don't think so. Not with this guy. You, know, you just don't even want it. I mean, you got to play to your strength. And this he clearly crows. <laughs> Imagine Mirko will throw a right high kick now. Switch his hip and a right high kick. So far, just look at this. Look at this. What a reflex. Right kick. He just walks away. His reflexes are incredible. I'm sorry if I bore you people at home with saying this 20 times. Look at There's a kicks. left. Wow. He's feeling more and more confident. You can see it. Not look. that he was ever not confident, but it just seems straight. like the combinations yeah, are right, landing. There go. There's a left. Yeah, now a followed split. by the kick. The liver. Oh, uh, yeah. You see? It's going. He's taking him apart. The hunger's growing, boss. You should low kick inside now. Left low kick inside the leg of Nogueira. He sees the blood. He's going for the kill. Yes, There's a straight man. left again. And that's obviously hurt him. And now watch this killer instinct. Look at this. Just watch this. There's a right kick. Look at the right. this. I'm not going down there. It's not going to happen. Get up. He just won't go down. He was down there long enough, and he can see he's got Noguera hurt, and he wants to finish it standing up. Instructions being almost pleading with their fighter, Noguera. Look at the power. Just a great here. job to avoid it. He just avoids getting thrown down, and Noguera's got to be frustrated having to get back up every time. Kutrokov wants nothing to do with it. Three minutes left, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said before, I'm always nervous because it can happen in a blink of an eye now. Boom. Missed Look there. Look at the sprawl. He throws him left, and then he defends himself. And with the sweat all over, slips out of Nogueira's grasp easily. That's what he was attempting to grab on, but just wasn't in a good position to do so. Because he's not wearing a gi. The gi! The gi! The gi was the major factor. The gi gives you fine grip ship. Yes. I would wear like a, a special shorts or something like that. that they do not pull out like rubber or something. Again, now he's, you can just see him studying. You see Brookup studying as he throws a right kick there. That's you can see what he him studying and looking for it to, to set up another one of those left kicks. He should throw a right hook left straight. A right hook left straight. That could finish it. Because he's got a real good left straight. Open it up with the left hook. Minut and then kidding. Minotauro certainly still moving the head, moving, uh, avoiding a couple of left straights there. Straight left hands by Krokop. And there's that sprawl. Yeah, I, I don't see Noguera taking Krokop down anymore. He's yep, went down once, so that's enough of that, baby. I'm not doing that again. No. Oh, let's go. That's the you can hear that. Ooh. All 67,000 plus heard that. Knee, ooh. Kokop should have knee there. Noguera still thrown. Hard oh, no, Noguera beat Bob Sapp when Bob Sapp was hitting him and with and Fedor. Him up. Fedor hit him so hard and he couldn't knock him out. And I mean, Fedor, he's got to be the strongest punch here in the Pride Fighting Championship, especially when he's in the guard. He's a normal striking power. He didn't stun Noguera, so... One minute, so clearly Noguera can take Oof. the punishment. And obviously that left leg is going to deliver some punishment if Krokop has his way. But under a minute to go here in the first of Schedule 3. 
And I'll tell you, he just does have power. He just throws them off. He's just like he said, Buzz. I don't think he's going down anymore. He could also throw a little right hook to the head and a left, uh, left straight to the body. Pro Cup could. That would be a good combination, too, right now. Let's see how it finishes. Let's see how it finishes. Will Krokop go for one more? Oh, the liver kick. You can hear it. Beautiful left to the liver. Sweat flies off. You can hear it all over the Tokyo Dome. You mentioned right from the start that right arm, perhaps a little high on yep. Nogueira, and that's where those left, last two left kicks have nailed oh, oh. Good night, oh. and he goes for that one more. That's it. No, it's not. It's not. It's time. With about six minutes to go in the round, that's when Mirko was able to get up and do some of the damage you see right there. Whoa, man. Right kick while he's on the ground. Straight. There's no question who's controlling this fight. As long as they're on their feet, there's no doubt about it. Total control, and I told you before, Magera cannot take him down. Oh, God. And this is, it's its about to happen. Krokop already at the center of the ring. He's probably disappointed that it went to round two. They touch, and here we go. Now they touch a few times. Not quite so friendly. You can hear the corner. Oh! oh was not able to sprawl out of that. Nope. Oh, the side mount. Side mount, Barry. Broke up was not Mud. able to sprawl out of that. And you can hear, as I said, the underdog. The fans. They are cheering for the underdog. Broken should, should buck again like this and buck as hard as he can. He can get him off. Look at this. He should buck him up. Buck him up and get out. Boss been talking about the buck all night. All Let's night. Buck him off you. Because he is taking some blows to the head. Yeah, but they're not uh, really No, no, but they'll him. add up if, if, if nothing changes. I mean, certainly not damaging blows by themselves. Can turn Nogueira now actually to the right if he wants. Trapping Nogueira's left arm, hooking his leg up, and then turning to the right. I'll tell you what, the determination Look. to get him down there, because the sprawl at first looked like it was going to work, but he kept going at him. Yep. Shot right in there, baby. Wow. You should stop bucking, I'm telling you. Okay. Some distance. He's not bucking. What's he trying to do? What is Prokop trying to do to get out? He, uh, nothing. He hopes that, that he can hold him, hold him tight, and then if the referee's going to restart it again on the feet, this is what he tries to do. But you see, he, he cannot hold him. He can't hold him tight. That's exactly. Pointed that out at the end of the last round. That sweat makes it impossible to hold That's him. Right That's what he That's the buck. Oh, there's the boss buck. Oh, Look out. Our he's buck. got it. He's oh, got it. It's oh, over. But I'm, I'm telling you. See all the people are standing. It's a standing ovation. A and we have some people ovation. crying behind us. Absolute yes. shock. Absolute shock. And Krokop giving a hug to his opponent. All the respect in the world. Well, look at these people. Each and every single one of them is standing up. And you know what? It's not all about how hard you hit Look. the submissions in this sport. And we're looking at one of the best there is, period, at Man. doing what he just did. Oh, Look at that. Yeah. And, and you can see the tap. He knew it. Oh, my God. This you saw. was a beautiful armor. Anything can happen. Anything. 
I tell you, this is what makes the sport great right here, boss. Beautiful.